Hello everyone, welcome to my garage. Today I am actually gonna do a repair on my welder. It broke about two weeks ago and it's kind of set me back on some of my products. Let me show you what hap what's happening here. So I have my Chicago Electric uh, MIG welder. I've had this guy probably 15, 17 years, something like that. It's, it's done me really well for my hobbies and what I've, what I've worked with. And the problem what happens when I turn it on the uh, the wire keeps feeding. So let me, let me actually plug this up and show you what, uh, what I mean. All right. So when I turn the power on, this motor here should not run. But what happens is, as soon as I turn on, it starts to spin and try to feed wire in. And that's actually, that's actually caused by a broken uh, relay. So the relay in question is this guy right here. Uh, let me get some more light. All right, so th this is the relay here. What's happening is it's staying cl closed. So I think it just, over time it just fused together and won't open. All right. All right. If I can get both of these in the picture. All right. So when this thing is off, this should stay open. But right now, you see, it's uh, these two are both uh, connected and fused together. And I got a new one, exact same same model, everything. So whenever I plug these two together, it should be open. So, so all I need to do is remove this, take this board out, unsolder the old one, and then put the new one on. And that should fix my problem. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, to remove this, I, there's a tiny little screw in here. If, you can, if I can zoom in so you can see that, uh, maybe it's kind of hard to see, but uh, there's a little screw inside there. We need to, need to unscrew it so we can take the knob off. All right. Now we just gotta un take this little nut, take this little nut off. Spacer. Now I need to get this, feed this through. Let me see if I can just pop this connector off. All right, there it is. Now I just gotta go and unsolder this and put the new one in place and I'll go from there. All right, so I have the, the piece here. I say to remove the, remove the old uh, relay. So I'm gonna use the, uh, the little solder vacuum and solder iron. Just gonna melt the solder real quick and pop it off.
Right? That's it. You can see the old, old piece here. I'm going to go ahead and stick the new one back on. Let's see. Okay. And it should be pretty easy. Just a little bit of solder. See if it's good as new. I'm going to head throw this into the welder. And uh, then we can try it out. You know, turn on and see if it works. All right, so I have everything reassembled. All the wiring back in, the knobs on. I made sure I, you know, have this, uh, the knob set back on zero when I indexed it. So... The arrow points the right direction. So let's make sure this thing works. All right, so if I turn on, the motor should not spin. Perfect. Now, I'm going to just pull the trigger. All right, that's done. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Hook the wire back up so it'll feed and try to do a, a quick test weld on some scrap. All right, so I just got a, I just got a piece of uh, scrap flat bar here. I'm just going to go run a few beads on it and I see how well it works. It's working. It's pretty dirty. Pretty sure if I once if I get all that mill uh, scale off, it should be it'll weld a lot better. But I say this is, is a success. Now I can go back to all my other crazy projects. I'll see you at the next video. Thank you.